So I'm sitting there eating lunch and I turn on the latest episode of MasterChef because it's one of my favorite shows. And as I'm watching it, I just start to get this like big smile on my face and I felt great. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make a video about this. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And my channel is all about helping you to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And before I get started with this whole Master Chef thing, I just wanna let you all know. So like something I forgot to mention in my Rewired Soul merch shop announcement was that on the back of every shirt, check this out. Yeah, on the back of every shirt, it says focus on the solution. So those of you who follow my channel, you know that every single video I make, I start out by saying we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And there are a million reasons why I say that. So many reasons why I say that. So I wanted to put that somewhere on the shirt. So it's actually on the back of the shirt. So the way I kind of see it and the reason like, the, how that kind of came to fruition was like, think about it, you know, like you're rocking the shirt and you're walking past somebody. Maybe somebody has a bad day and maybe they see the back of your shirt and they're stuck in their head and they're ruminating on something or some stuff that happened earlier in the day or whatever and they're just focused on the problem and then all of a sudden you walk past when you're with your sick rewired soul merch and they're like oh my god I need to focus on the solution, right? So I thought that was kind of cool. So it is on the back of all the shirts. It's also on the back of the coffee mugs. So just want to throw that out there. At the end of the video, I will provide a link to the Rewired Soul merch shop. There's also a link down in the description. If you want to check it out, my girlfriend and I were working on some new designs and things like that. So it'll constantly be updated. But yeah, I just forgot to mention that in my announcement video. And that's like a key feature on one of these beautiful pieces of clothing or a coffee mug. All right, but anyways, let's get started. So, Master Chef, love that show, all right? And uh, so, let me explain. So, for those of you who don't know what Master Chef is, it's a show where they take, uh, you know, the way they brand it is the best home cooks in America, right? That's debatable. You know, there's a bunch of shows with like home cooks and like they've never gone like head to head. But anyways, they take a bunch of home cooks and it's a cooking competition show. So they have a bunch of different uh, judges and things like that on there. Um, Gordon Ramsay has been on there like all the time. Love that dude. He's hilarious and great and he speaks such just insane amounts of truth and tough love. And real quick about Gordon Ramsay, one thing I love about him is even though he comes off as like a jerk and like, I don't always agree with his insulting, even though it's kind of funny to watch. Like, you can tell that he, he cares about people and he wants to help them and things like that. But anyways, so this season, it's uh, the three judges are Gordon Ramsay, uh, Joe Bastianich, I believe that's how you pronounce his last name, and Chef Aron Sanchez, all right? So you have all these home cooks who come in and then there's a bunch of different challenges. There's team challenges and things like that. And right now, uh, the episode I'm on, they're down to the final five and it's a great, great, great competition show. But anyways, like I wanna talk about this and I, I wanna make more videos about this because there's certain shows and certain you know, uh, YouTube channels and things like that that I watch just to, get me in a better mood. And there's certain shows where like, you know, uh, I'm just inspired or motivated or they give me all the good feels. And one of the reasons I, I, I wanna do this is because, you know, I, I put out so much content and everything and I could talk about journaling and meditating and seeing a therapist or medications or whatever, but there's so many things that I do on a regular basis that I don't always know how to like put into a piece of content or even document it or anything. So I wanna do a better job of just like letting you know I do things every day throughout the day that help improve my mental health. So when it comes to Master Chef, one of the reasons I love this so much is because I love so much when people are pursuing their dreams and doing something that they're passionate about, something that they love doing. It just warms my heart so much. So you get like Master Chef, and there's people, and they come from all different walks of life, different backgrounds. They work in different industries, but they love to cook. They love to cook, and they're like, and 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 for me, that's inspiring for like anybody. You know, we live in this world where so many people are so depressed because of their job, just so depressed. They go into work, they hate it. They wake up in the morning and they hate the fact that they gotta go to this job that they hate. They leave work and then they just wanna zone out and veg out, you know what I mean? And like, I love seeing shows where people are trying to pursue something that they love. Even if they don't achieve it, just the fact that they're even trying it 
that's amazing and I love it. And like something I love about MasterChef, I've mentioned this when I talk about like the Twitch community, like I love how the MasterChef contestants, like every now and then there's some drama and stuff, but for the most part, like they're just also loving and supportive. Like when they do like their mystery box challenges and they bring down the uh, the top three dishes, like everybody like, they like hug each other and congratulate each other. Like they're all just there for like this common goal of to pursue their dreams and cook and just that's the way they, they express themselves. And I love that. And another reason why I just like enjoy cooking shows, certain ones, I don't watch all of them, but like, I love this as a form of creativity, like something that helps me with my mental health. So here's another mental health hack for you, is expressing myself and getting creative. So I enjoy cooking. I cook for my girlfriend sometimes. You know, I don't do it as much as I should or as I'd like to. My main thing is that I don't like doing dishes. That's my main issue, just to let you know. Okay, anyways, getting back to it. I love just how you could take a recipe and then put your own little spin on it or your own little twist. So like, Something that you should do every single day is do like one or two things that help you be very creative. Like, for example, most jobs are very tedious. It's the same thing over and over and over. This is one of the reasons why people get depressed at work is because there's no purpose. They're not allowed to express themselves or be creative or go outside of the box. So try to find things where you can do like one or two things a day where you get to be creative. You know, whatever that is, whether it's drawing or writing or whatever it is, making videos, you know? Like, that's one of the reasons I like making videos and doing like YouTube uh, thumbnails and stuff. Like, right now, just for funsies, I'm taking a bunch of different courses over on Skillshare just to amp up my Photoshop game. And by the way, this isn't sponsored, but I need to reach out to them because I would love to be sponsored by Skillshare. I love what they do. If you don't know what Skillshare is, they have a bunch of courses for a million different things and you just go on and take them. Like, right now, as of recording this, this might be the last day, but they had like, it was like 99 cents for three months. Not a bad deal. But anyways, I love the support that they all give each other. And it's something like I mentioned when I talked about the Twitch community, like, like man, I love when people support each other around this common goal and they're not like trying to shade each other or uh, outdo each other, you know, or maybe they, you know, they do outdo each other, but that's competitive spirit. But like, especially like with all the videos I've talked about with like the YouTube drama and all this tit for tat nonsense and the lying and the shadiness and is this a good person or whatever it is. Like, that's one thing that's just royally screwed about the YouTube community is everybody's out for themselves, trying to get their own little piece of the pie. And not, not everybody, not everybody, excuse me for saying that, but a lot of people, a lot of people. And it's messed up, man. Like I love, you know, um, myself and the other mental health creators and a bunch of other creators that I, I talk to, like it's just very supportive and loving. Just like, look, you're doing something you love, let's do this. And that's one of the reasons why I love watching MasterChef. But the other thing is too, like this episode I'm, I was watching earlier, this is a part of the season where they bring their families in, right? So these people are have been in this competition, they haven't seen their families in weeks, and then like they surprise them, like they, they just like don't even know that their family's there. Uh, but they tell them to cook a dish that's inspired by home and then they walk out of the pantry and there's your mom or your dad or your husband or wife or your kids or whatever. And they get so happy and like when they're cooking, they just have these huge smiles on their faces. Their family's rooting for them. I'm like, I love that stuff. I love it. And they have supportive family members. Like, it's great. I love watching that stuff, you know? So like, and this is the thing and why I wanna make more videos on this and just talk about these little micro things I do for my mental health. Like there's so much drama and nonsense out there and then there's there's a stigma around technology and like vegging out and watching TV. Like I'm all about escapism, but just like to a certain extent. I'm trying to teach you, like the reason why I talk about so many YouTubers and what's going on is because we watch these things so passively and rarely do we take a look at ourselves and see what's going on. Is this making me happy? Is this me putting me in a better mood or worse mood what is what's happening uh can i relate to some of the struggles like we need to consume this content in a more mindful way and pay attention to what's happening like i do so many things throughout my day which is why i want to start documenting this that that just improve my mental health and there's these small little hacks and tricks that i do and i i want to put them all together for all of you so like right now I'm working on putting together ideas for short little eBooks. I already have a couple up on Amazon, but they're mainly about addiction or helping someone who has uh, an addiction. But like, I wanna do things about depression and anxiety and different things because I know everybody's different and I wanna put together all these different little things that you can do that cater to you. So if you don't like meditating, that's cool. Here, try this instead. Or if you don't like going out in public, if you isolate, okay, that's cool. Do this instead. You know what I mean? So I'm working on some books and they're gonna be up on Amazon 
Amazon for like two or three dollars, but I just want you to have like a playbook so you can turn to this thing and be like, oh, okay, these are things that I can start practicing and then cater to what I'm already doing or what I like to do and, and all that kind of stuff. So like, I, I'm, I'm, I just really felt like I wanted to make this video because I noticed how, how happy I was. But here's what I wanna do down in the comment section below. Like, what, what inspires you? Like, what shows or what movies or what YouTube channels do you watch that kind of give you the same thing where it makes you like smile, it makes you happy, it brings you out of like a depressive funk? Like, what shows are those for you? I, like, I'm always looking for suggestions and I know other people, they might be looking for suggestions. So leave comments down below. What YouTube channels do you watch or shows or whatever? Which ones put you in a good mood and why, okay? Why do they put you in a good mood? All right, I can't wait to see what you guys say down in the comments below. Anyways, that's all I got for you. I appreciate you watching. And if you like this stuff, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And just as promised, boom, you can click or tap on that little logo right there. Check out the Rewired Soul merch shop. And remember, stay in the solution. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.